Hello, ladies and gentlemen, the Grand Spartan. It is Horde Day today. Looking forward to taking on the Horde in our super mini bunker. I guess the last one was the mini bunker. This is the super mini bunker. Don't know how this is going to work out with no headshots. I may end up climbing up top there, kind of shooting down on them a little bit uh, throughout the Horde. Uh, but uh, it's going to be a little tricky because, you know, head high is about where this line is right here. I won't be able to get any headshots, uh, at least up close we won't, which is where most of them are going to be. Plus, uh, the other one's down low. I almost should have put one of these uh, down here as well. And then maybe I could like somehow look down at an angle and back away from it and shoot at them. I don't know. But either way, it'll be fun. Be different. Something different than uh, what we've done before. So... I guess if you're watching this, then you've seen my uh, Alpha 16 little test run on the server. Uh, we have, uh, I got it back up and going. Had some issues with the upload, silly thing. Uh, I was uploading two episodes last night, went to bed. I leave it going uh, while I sleep. And I guess Windows update or something, my computer restarted. So I lost progress, had to start back over. It was late. It was like uh, 8 o'clock yesterday, 8 p.m. Before I was able to post those uh, that one video and the other one was still uploading. But anyway, uh, is what it is. I was uh, you know, glad to finally get it done and uh, you know, goof around a little bit with the Alpha 16. Didn't want to do that much on single player and certainly didn't want to document that uh, at all. Uh, with the bugs and whatnot, but uh, but it's okay on the server and it doesn't affect my files on the computer here uh, for single player by doing it that way uh, as much. So uh, anyway, uh, so that's kind of fun and looking forward to documenting a little bit more. Have another episode coming for you uh, with that as well, and uh, yeah, it's kind of fun. The hordes are a little uh, lacking right now until they get all that worked out, but. Uh, other than that, just trying to get a feel for it before I start that Let's Play and before we all get serious and get on the server and and really start uh, hitting hardcore. Also did figure out, and I think I've said it three times now, but the uh, barbed wire does work. I had a gentleman, and I need to look his name up. I swear I'm going to do it. Uh, but if you look back at, uh, I guess, yesterday's, day before yesterday's video, he put on there that if you hold down R, it uh, brings up a menu when you're holding a block like this brings up a menu so you can choose the uh, orientation of the block which is a cool new feature have to get used to using that and I was able able to uh, lie the uh, barbed wire down on the ground so I, I had already started the 50 pillar bill with uh, cobblestone uh, before I realized that and read that comment and uh, so that's why I did not use it. Let's ride over here and get this uh, this airdrop real quick and see what's in it. Uh, airdrops have saved my life on the server there, though. I tell you what, I needed antibiotics and I needed first aid kits, and they certainly provided it. Uh, those uh, those airdrops are full of goodness. This airdrop is real close by. I figure we shoot over here, grab it up real quick. Hopefully don't fall through the world because this is one of those glitchy areas in this location here where things weren't working right. I will take that and the rest of it can go poof. Just like that. Ooh, I thought I was about to fall through the earth. I saw the uh, mini bike stop there for a moment. So I was sitting here waiting on this thing to dry. It took forever to get this little tiny thing to dry. Maybe we'll stop the bike somewhere back here. I don't want to get too close with the bike. I don't want the, uh, don't want the baddies coming up in here. And yeah, we'll take that vitamin, the vitamin. We'll take that and. Kind of weird how they sink down. I like the way the uh, gore blocks work on 16. I do like that. That's a nice little change. Uh, you'll see it if you watch the uh, videos, what they did with that. And it's a much improved system from where it was on 15 and uh, 14. So 
forward to that. Shotgun shell. A shotgun. Clearing out. I cleared out a lot of the trees. Just killing time waiting on this thing to uh, dry. It's like, well, heck, I'll go ahead and cut all these trees down and maybe that'll help our FPS a little bit. Let's see, we have some zombies gathering up over here. Come on over here, Mr. and Mrs. Zombie. I don't know if you were a Mr. or a Mrs. Because you're all on fire. But uh, anyway, yeah, so I'm uh, probably going to goof around a bit more and try to make it to my second horde. See that right there, that swing she took at me and how I was able to step back and dodge it? Can't do that on the server. Uh, the, I guess the latency, and plus I'm always uploading something, it seems. You know, I can't ever just play without uploading. And, uh, boy, she's taking a little air nap there. Uh, but, uh... Anyway, I, you know, they go to swing at me and I step back and they still hit me even though I'm a good three, four body lengths away from them. Uh, it's just maybe, I don't know what's going to fix that. I don't know if anything will fix it really. We didn't have that issue before. Well, Pronto said he had the issue a little bit on uh, Alpha 15 on the server with them swinging a long ways away like that. But I didn't have it so much on 15, but I certainly notice it now. But uh, we'll hang out up here for just a minute when the horde starts. Got about an hour of game time left before that happens. There's our old base uh, down there, our mini bunker, and here is the super mini bunker. <laughs> they took them on over there last time. This whole hub city is going to be full of bunkers before we finish Alpha 15. If you don't hurry up and release that thing. But, uh,. Yeah, I don't know how many episodes I'll actually upload of the experimental. I don't want to spoil too much for the Let's Play series. I know there are others out there that are streaming and recording the experimental version, but I didn't want to be one of those. I wanted to keep it all fresh for our Alpha 16 Let's Play and however we may decide to document that. Um, you know, whether it be uh, multiplayer, single player, both. Oh, am I getting a Wandering Horde? I think I am. Son of a gun. Really? I can't hit him? Joe Bob is dodging, bobbing, and weaving. I think that's what that is. Maybe they're just a few random zombies. Who knows? <clears throat> I'm awful. I need to change my position in the seat here. I need to get that cop, too. Before he gets over here. Let me change my positioning here in the seat. All right, look at this cop, because I think as soon as the whistle blows, he's going to come running over here to add to the uh, chaos. All right, well, 1,500 rounds with the AK-47 should be enough. We're going to probably have to come up here and uh, fire down on him with some exploding crossbow bolts and whatnot. Uh, I fully anticipate them <clears throat> demolishing this little thing. But maybe not. Maybe not. It is steel. Steel is really durable on Alpha 15. Don't know how that's going to be on Alpha 16. I know there's some new feral zombies. And I don't know what, uh, you know, what they're going to bring to the table as far as damage goes in the average horde. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just have to... Kind of play it by ear and see. I'd like to get far enough progressed on Alpha 16 Experimental to test that out, though, and see if the hordes grow in size, because uh, as it is now, you just get a few per wave, which is, you know, I know the hordes always started out small, uh, even on 15, but I swear you used to get, like, uh, 8 per wave on Alpha 15. So here we go. Uh, hopefully the game stages file didn't get all wonky on me because of the uh, change from 16 to 15. I couldn't hit the backside of a barn. I've been using a uh, crossbow and uh, getting used to that. Tell you what, let's go down into the... I uh, almost fell off the edge there. Did you see that? Ooh, almost fell off again. Oh! I ejected myself like the elevator system. Let's uh, close the door. 
Oh, look at that. They're sticking their heads through. Yeah. Nice. Can they hit me through this thing here? I don't think they can. Now we can even loot a little bit through here. <laughs> Kappa. Yeah, I wonder if the cop explosions can get us through here, too. Hmm, show me that head. Ah, they're stepping on the squishies. I hear the squishies. Shooting those legs out. There you go, show me the head. up here somewhere. I may not want to open that hatch. I don't know what's up there waiting on me. There's a leg. Oh, I got that leg. Well, hey, they can't hit me. That's kind of cool, you know? I can just sit here and saw bodies in half. They cannot hit me. Hit me. Look at this. Standing right in front of him. Can't hit me. Hmm. They're going to totally destroy all the spikes on this side. Nice and certain. Yeah, he'll come over here a little bit. Balance out the damage a little. Oh, look at you, dog. You can't hurt me, but I can hurt you. Now I'm curious if a cop explodes. Is it going to get me through that little crack? Oh, the loot just flying up in the air out there. Dog just walking off out there. You see that? He's like, yeah, I'm done with this already. Come on, his head's right there, Grant Spartan. The head, right there. <laughs> kind of tempted to go up top now. Hey, I wonder if I could shoot an exploding crossbow bolt through that hole. I wonder if we have enough room. Probably don't have enough room to, to... I can make it through the hole, but then it's gonna hit them standing right here next to the hole. It's probably gonna kill me. I don't wanna do that. Um, well, let's uh, let's go up top, I guess. Hopefully we don't have any glitches this time like we did before. Open the door, do a little test. Oh! Oh! Go back down in the hole! Go back down in the hole! Oh, that's not good. There won't be any going up top for the Grand Spartan. Maybe, we'll see, we'll see. Let's thin out the herd a little bit here again. Oh, that cop's gonna explode. Ooh, it did a little bit of damage to me. You see that? Hmm, so they can damage you through the uh, arrow slits. do a little repairing to this uh, particular side here in just a minute. So you can survive in a lot of things on this game, as long as it's made of steel. 
zombies have a pretty hard time getting to you. Yeah, I doubt there are any spikes left on this side over here. They've just been piled up over there the whole time. I'm trying to coerce them into coming to a different side. Let's get this back uh, tip top again. Let's go ahead and repair our gun. I feel pretty safe in this little thing, you know, to say how tiny it is and all. I feel pretty safe. I mean, I feel like uh, as long as we keep the steel repaired, they're not getting through. And uh, now if I go up top, that might be a different story. I don't know what uh, might happen up there. Feel threatened at all? I'm pretty confident that this uh, small bumper will hold us through. There's a lot of zombies out there, though. I know that. I think I set it back to 35 per wave. I think it's 35, maybe more than that. It certainly seems like a lot more than that. Ooh, something's hitting me. Oh, there's a zombie inside. You see that? I was, I was like, wait a minute. Oh, they hit me. They couldn't hit me before, and now they're hitting me. Because Mr. Zombie had uh, crept through. He's like, uh, he's like an octopus. He just slipped through the hole, just squished up his body, and right on through. Look at him swimming. Swimming. He's winning the race. Ooh, that steel's taking uh, quite a beating right there. Down to 50%. Turn that back off. It's taking a bit of a beating too. That cop's doing a lot of damage to it. I'm going to take him out right now. I really want to shoot an exploding crossbow bolt, but I'm scared that one shot may kill me. I don't want to die because, you know, I think I spawn all the way over in that other town. Oh, look at that. Oh, see there? That's why you don't stick your head. In little places like that, you're gonna get it stuck. Now look at them. I don't think they can hit me, even though they can kind of glitch through there like that. I don't think they can hit me. It's kind of silly. You silly zombies. Get away from my, from my mini bunker. All right, Mr. Carroll. Get a little shot or two repair on that. It's almost like my bullets were ricocheting off of his uh, military helmet. Gonna save ya. Yeah, I hope they fix the angled blocks because ever since uh, many alphas ago, it's been so that they can kind of stick their bodies into an angle piece and sometimes even glitch through the angle pieces. But uh, I noticed that on some of my Alpha 14 funnel builds. They were able to stick their heads through the, uh, the angled pieces, and uh, sometimes a spider or something would glitch through those. I hope that's fixed on Alpha 16 so they can't do that anymore. That really deters me from using angled pieces on a base like this. I didn't even put down any wooden spikes on this base. I said, you know what, the heck with it. We're gonna go with it like it is. And... Ooh, something I did notice though. When a cop explodes on Alpha 16, it kills the zombies around that cop, even the other cops. So that's kind of a cool thing, because you imagine all the cops that we get here on Alpha 15, uh, if we start getting that many on 16 and they start exploding around the base, well, there's, you know, 
there's a big chunk of zombies gone right there. And it didn't destroy the corpses either. They just die like you kill them, you know? I mean, uh, or like a spike kills them. You can go around and pick up the loot. This is not as bad as I thought it would be as far as being able to shoot them. Uh, I can't get headshots, and it's taking me some more shots to kill some of them, but like this one sticking its head through there like that. Now, if they could hit me, it would really stink. You know, we'd be in a fix uh, with the way they're glitching through. Kind of tempted to go out there and get on top now. Tell you what, let's do that. Let's go out top, uh, up top, and see if we can't survive up there. If we need to, we'll make a run for the, uh... oh, there's one right there. Hey, uh, fella. You know? Alright, here's time for it. Uh, that'll calm them down a little bit. Stop all that noise. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at how he was able to hop up there. Him too. And some kangaroo zombies now. Can't hop with a busted leg, though, can ya? Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I thought I used a first aid kit. I didn't use one. Here we go. Alright, let's get these cops out of the way. Maybe. Maybe. And Spartan needs to get his aim back uh, a little bit better. Not that I ever had it, but certainly better than what I'm showing here. That feral still trying to get into the base. You see that? They're just raining down on that guy. How many shots does it take, Mr. Feral? What was that, like eight shots to kill that cop? Most of them were headshots. Oh, there's, there we go. Whew, all right, well. It's hard to pass a 600 shotgun, you know, but I tell you what, let's pick up the 600 shotgun and the shells and stick it there throw out the rotting flesh let's pick up the shells from this one let's click that let's click assemble let's click that throw this out get the old shoddy and take care of business nice Apparently that feral died that was over here, or the couple ferals that we're wondering about. They, uh... Look at all the spikes that are gone. <laughs> oh, man. Crazy. Crazy, silly zombies. They thought they had me that time. They really did. Now, if we had made that out of wood... Ow. 
Maybe they would have gotten me. Or if I'd have gone up top, you know. I had no defense to keep them from coming up top because it's so tiny. I, I, if I'd have put any overhang with them standing on the spikes, they would have been uh, beating on the bars or whatever I put to overhang. So I could have made it one block higher, but it was just for fun. Figured I'd spend most of my time hanging out down in there anyway. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's pick those up. Oh, there's another good one. Cop and a feral. Something I haven't used in Alpha 15 much. It's a flashlight. I don't remember using that a lot on Alpha 14, I think it was. There's a lot of the flashlight, but I haven't used it so much on 15. Yeah, we'll take that military leg armor. I think I'm using banded armor, but... So our next uh, project, we're probably only a, a few days away from completing it, I guess. I don't know. Still got a good bit of work left to it. Certainly want to get that done. If, if the fun pimps were to say, you know what, Alpha 16, we fixed a few problems that we saw. Uh, boom, we're releasing it today. Uh, I'd still go ahead and finish out that base, take on the horde, document it, throw the uh, base preview up on the channel. And... Uh, yeah, we continue on with it, but uh, I certainly wouldn't uh, just move on to Alpha 16 immediately. I, I could do both, you know. You can flip back and forth between the Alphas. And someone asked that, and you absolutely, yes, you can. You can. Uh, it's what I'm doing currently. Uh, I'm going from one Alpha to the other. And so you can always revert back to an older Alpha, uh, which is what I'm doing here. Currently... Let's throw our guns in here. Need to pick up our crafting supplies. Don't think I realized how close we were to the Hub City base. We're right here next to it. So we have bases just littered all about this Hub City. Uh, so no Hub City anymore. I don't know what I'm going to do. I love that increased spawn rate. No Hub City. But they do have the sleepers that are in every single building you go in, and they just respawn after you kill them and move about throughout the building. So that'll be the extra challenge, you know, if you want to see some action. That is crazy. All I had left, it's a good thing I just made some more 7.62 rounds, because all I had out of 1,500 rounds was like 100, is that right? Did I use that many bullets? Oh my god. Goodness, I didn't mean to use that many bullets. That's uh, that's just silly. Silly willy. All right, well, let's... Uh, I think the military leg armor is going to go there. We can throw the beer over here. And pick up all of our building supplies. Get that. Need the angle pieces, need that. I don't want that 215. I want all of that. More gas, rebar, wood. And we want to throw Mr. Auger back on there as well. Probably need some form of defense for over there uh, in the way of a firearm. So I'll go ahead and. What's the gun of choice? I guess we'll just use the pistol. Take those. All right, let's get these forges fired back up again. Let me see how they're standing. All right, so they're pretty good. Uh, we st still have some steel in most of them. Um, let's turn that on there. Don't have any space in my inventory, don't it? Plenty of clay, so don't need any more clay. Tell you what, we could duel up on the iron in that one. Since we have plenty of clay, let's just do that. Let's get double the amount. Let's check this one. It's in the same shape, a few thousand, uh, or, you know, 1,500. Steel in there. And let's just take the 437 and turn that on and just get it kicking. Get it kicking. 
And I have plenty of resources over at the other base as well, so... Uh, maybe, maybe we create some lighting. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't, you know, we'll, we'll see. I'll leave that one slot open uh, just in case. Make sure we're good. Concrete in there and there. Okay. So we still have a lot of resources left. My hope is that this is the last big uh, base that we build. And like I said, it's going to take me the better part of this next week to get it done. I may not do a lot of work to it off camera just because I want to get the most out of Alpha 15 here, uh, not knowing when 16 is going to drop. And I want to provide you all with some content every day uh, that's not Alpha 16 experimental. I, I don't want to get too deep into that. I'll, I'll do an episode here and there, kind of like we've been doing. Uh, maybe an episode and then skip a few days or so in another episode. Uh, but... Uh, for the most part, I'd like to cover where we can build and experiment with hordes and that type of thing. But a lot has changed now. A lot has changed uh, between here and Alpha 16 as far as how the how the bases are going to... Well, I mean, how the bases are going to work, yeah, the pillar build still works. I don't know about the barbed wire exactly yet. I don't know what has changed about that. I would hope that it's about the same, because that's one of my favorite builds. People ask all the time, did I go the right way? I think I went the wrong way. Nope. Map is littered with uh, eardrops. But I really like the barbed wire build. That's probably my favorite out of all that we have done. And the coolest was probably the, the uh, little Xbox build that we did, the funnel system. That one worked out really well. I put a lot of time into that one. I knew it probably doesn't show, but I, I had uh, a lot of time with time lapse that most of you said you didn't watch because you don't like time lapse. But I wanted to document it, and I didn't want to do all of it off camera. I did some of the digging to bedrock uh, off recording, but I wanted to document it as much as I could and. Uh, so, you know, it just was what it was. So no more riding over things with the mini bike is what uh, Old Crow told me. You can't run over a deer or even a chicken. Uh, we'll stop your mini bike now. No more running over that kind of stuff. I never really ran over zombies a whole lot with it. Uh, but the wildlife I did. Uh, but uh, anyway, once you get yourself a crossbow or better, hunting wildlife is uh, very simple to do. So no big worries there. Uh, I think it was down this way. Whatever kind of glitch that was. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, Grand Spartan. What did you do? What did you do? Yeah, whatever kind of glitch that was with the camera skipping and stuttering. Oh, uh, I think it sort of worked out. You know, it's kind of still there. I see it. But uh, for the most part, I think it's, it's good. And we'll take those. We will never pass up the first aid kits. Certainly saved my behind on Alpha 16 Experimental. I know that. Those airdrops. So, uh, next episode, what we'll do, I'll give you a little shot of what this is looking like here, in case you haven't seen it yet. Uh, what we'll do is we'll we'll get back onto this build. Uh, I need to turn this sand at least two out, maybe three, into steel or uh, concrete. So I need to do that, and I need to get this base in the center finished up. You know, we start, oh my gosh. Well, there's your broken leg right there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <clears throat> that was just for you. <laughs> what? What happened? Why did I, like, bump my head and fall off? Makes no sense. But I think the game just wanted, it's like you can't go a whole episode without breaking your leg, Grand Spartan. That just wouldn't be right. Wouldn't be right for your viewers. But, uh, yeah, the old checkerboard defense. And we'll have to build this up down here. I'll try to get it up and get a mini bike entrance done. Oh, there's a wandering horde going by. Look at that. So they're kind of hobbling along. Uh, but we get this thing in the center built up. 
and get our mini bike entrance built and a way up and down uh, so we don't have to use those stairs anymore. And we'll be, uh, you know, ready to take on a horde. So hopefully by the next horde, I can get this done. I want to test it. You know, I want to see what it'll do. It's still kind of skipping a little bit here. I can see as I walk uh, that it's skipping a little bit. So this concrete is not dried. I guess the chunk unloaded when I went over to the Hub City. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, have yourselves a good day, good evening, wherever you may be located. And I'll see you all tomorrow.